hello guys welcome back to my channel if today is your first time please don't forget to subscribe at the end of this video so today i'm going to be making a kimono without side joining um i'm folding my material into four that's the actual length and width i want that's the measurement i want so for you to fold yours you check your biggest measurement if it's your hip if it's your waist if it's your bust, sorry, by four, you multiply it by four, depending on what you want. So I've marked the shoulder measurement and a shoulder slope of one inch, connecting it to my neck neck width. So I'm going to mark my armhole of nine inches. That's my bust measurement divided by four. Then from the um, shoulder slope, you connect it down then you mark eight inches upwards at the midpoint you measure you mark half an inch for the back armhole then uh, three quarter of an inch for the front armhole so I'm just going to connect my armhole like that for the front and also for the back Remember, I'm cutting both front and back together. So I'm just going to connect it like so. Now I'm marking my neck depth for the back. I marked one inch. I marked one inch. Actually, that's what I want. You can make yours 1.5 but i marked one inch so that by the time i'll be joining it with my black material with my lapel um i'll use the half inch so i'm just marking the neck with all the way down for the front neck i'm cutting out the back the armhole and also I'll open it and cut out for the front armhole remember their marks are not the same then i'll cut all through the neck width that's for the front neck line then my uh front and back is ready i'll just open it as you can see me doing just open it like that and join them together like so match the two shoulders the front and the back together yeah but before i do that because it does it will have a sleeve it's sleeveless i'll just use a bias tape to turn around the armhole i'll use bias to turn around the armhole then join the neck join the shoulders together i mean join the shoulders together and use a, a black material i'll be using um i'll be using the face material for the lapel so that's how it's going to be i'll join these two together and i use the dull face the doffers material black doffers material i'll bring it back for you remember to turn the armhole so this is the outcome of it i've turned the armhole and i used the black material as you can see it and the sides are not joined together yeah the sides are not joined together I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. And also subscribe if you are yet to subscribe. See you guys in my next tutorial. Please support me. Thank you.